So today we're going to finish up the skin around the eye and add in the lashes. I had thought that I was recording like this with both the drawing um, reference image and my drawing next to each other, but it turns out that I didn't have on the proper camera. So it's just going to be my drawing in this video, but please remember what the reference image looks like. I'm going to show you how to do this one with the inner corner and shade the skin below and then add the lashes and you will be, will be the eye. So I hope that you uh, really feel like after doing this, you kind of understand how the eyeball, the white of the eye is really a sphere underneath here. And then on top of it is the skin and the layers there and why this double line um, is really important in terms of showing that that is um, a thickness, a layer that's over the top of the eyeball. So if you have the different pencils, um, go ahead and grab your, your 2H pencil. Um, if not, please just use your school pencil and make sure that you have a nice bevel point on there so you can do something with really soft, soft, soft shading. And remember, we are not showing pencil strokes, so we're just doing lots of layers. Look at how many times I'm going back and forth over this little tiny area so things blend in. I can't stress that enough. So I'm going to get a bevel point on my 2H and start to look at the, the skin underneath here. So if we look at um, how far down this is, this is kind of like where the lower lid starts to dent in. And again, that's because the eye is a ball and we are showing that shape there. So this is arching around to show that spherical shape and I'm keeping it really, really light and I'm bringing that up toward the lower lid. Okay, so as I'm approaching this now, um, I'm actually five minutes into this, so I plan to edit this on you know, fast forward speed, so it's going to look much faster, but there's just so many layers in here and I'm building up. Um, and I can try to soften these pencil lines a little bit. They don't need to necessarily be as strong everywhere. Um, there can be a little bit, but the line doesn't have to be solid or continuous across there. And so now I can see that this is darker here and coming in lighter here. And then there's like a little highlight. It's like the reverse right under there. So where this is the darkest, now it's coming back out. It's starting to go down toward your cheek. So it's coming away from the eye. So there's the highlight. And then we have a little bit of shading. It's coming around here. And I can start to shade in that area below to match. lashes. So one of the big um, mistakes that people make with lashes is they have this arch on top and they just start to draw spikes coming out of it. And if you look, the lashes, instead of just being spikes coming out of it, they really swoop down and kind of toward the viewer some, um, toward the person facing them, kind of away from your eye and then they swoop up. So you end up with this little hook shape on here and they also kind of go into triangles. They go into little clusters. So I might do two or three lashes together and then do another lash. Maybe there's a solo one or two and then I can do another couple and really look at the angles of them. And if you switch over to something like an ebony or maybe a 6B pencil, you can get some nice dark lashes that also you can see are a thicker line quality, but then you have to like really lift and let those those taper so they get narrower. So it's like a it's like a slow swoop and then a lift. And so you kind of want to plan your direction before you do it. So you can try it in the air first and then kind of get them put together. And as they come around, they're going to start to go in a 
um, different direction as they go toward your nose and they get a little bit smaller and then out here that one kind of went crazy did not mean for that one to curl so much but you can start to do that swooping and there's also a little bit of shading under here so you do end up losing some of that detail but um, that's how I'm going to approach doing the lashes now and I'm going to do both the upper and the lower lashes with the lower lashes I will switch to um, something smaller like a regular school pencil or a even yeah I'll do a regular school pencil for the bottom so I think I'm going to use a 6B for the top lashes and an HB for the bottom lashes and I'm really looking at the image and I'm trying to duplicate the direction and the thickness of the lashes themselves Okay, now looking in here, I think I can put a little bit more shading behind this. I think it's just a little bit bright. And I did forget, I need to shade in here. So I'm gonna just use my HB pencil. I think we're done. So just so you know, this whole video is 15 minutes and I'm propping it down. So a lot of it was on fast forward.